What I'm going into is the thicket where I saw my good buck two weeks ago, two weekends ago. I'm going to try to find the most open spot near the middle of this thicket. Oh, and uh, maybe acorns. I'm going to I'm gonna be following. There's a, a few oak trees in here. I'm going to be trying to stick around those and look for sign. Well, I just spooked the first deer. It was up in there. Angled towards the creek. The creek is right down here. She's about 50, 60 yards out and blew once and ran off that way. Singled out oak tree right here. A lot of acorns have been eaten. This one probably from a squirrel. This one probably from a deer. See how the cap is just cracked. Looks pretty good up here. Of course I can't see too far but I got a clearing in front of me and a little one behind me. Behind me is kind of my downwind side but I got all the thicket in the world in front of me. And I saw that buck two weeks ago over that way. I'm hoping he's still in here. I really have no idea if he is. Well, that's a zero today, except for the doe I bumped on the way in. I'm sure that didn't help. I don't know when I'll be back in. I would like to poke around a little more for sure, but I'm not gonna hunt it every single day unless I really start to see some buck sign and zero in on it, which I haven't. So I'll be somewhere else in the morning, but I'll see y'all in the woods. Well, I just pulled up to a spot. I haven't really hunted in a couple years, but uh, two seasons ago, I was in here in October and uh, I was hunting in the evening, but only about 100 yards off the road and had uh, had some deer come by uh, feeding on acorns and real nice eight point. And uh, I had already killed a nine point like a few days earlier and I had one tag left I was saving for the big one that I never saw, but I let him walk because he was real young. But I've always had this spot in the back of my head because during the muzzleloader and rifle seasons, it gets hammered here. There's people walking all over, always somebody parked here. But uh, it's not as pressured during bow season. When I walked outside this morning, uh, there was frost on my backpack in the back of my truck. So it's, uh, it's cold. All right, I'm in the tree. <clears throat> in front of me, there's a bunch of, there's a blowdown limb. But past that, a little ways, there's a little growed up field. Past that field, there's a big cedar thicket and a lot of deer bed up there and they travel along this that grown up field and they come out into the woods here I don't know where they're exactly going to come from they could come from behind me across the road Those were in a hurry. They didn't stop to eat or nothing. They came from across the road and they're headed back towards bedding. I just had three or four does right down there. I think they were coming straight at me, but I was looking around because the squirrel was making some noise. They didn't blow, they just ran off.
Well, it's 11 o'clock. I think I'm gonna call it now. Definitely a really nice morning. Of course, I'm looking for a buck and I see nothing but does. But not gonna complain about it. I had deer walking all over me. About 100 yards from the truck. So I'm gonna climb down and go get me some greasy gas station food. And uh, I'll be back out shortly. Uh, I, I've got an idea of where I'm going, but I haven't made up my mind yet. But I'll see you back here in just a second. I can't see the truck from here, unfortunately. A little over a mile back. And uh, if y'all remember a couple episodes ago, I went up on this hardwood point with a perfect wind. And... Um, saw some fresh rubs and didn't see a single deer but I think I even mentioned that it was a good spot and that I'll be back so guess what I'm back well I'm almost back um, I'm about to get to the creek it! there was two does right down there just blew and ran off I don't know if they're bedded or, or if they're already moving, but... Alright, now I'm going into second guessing mode here. I'm just trying to get ahead about 40 yards to that tree I hunted last time. But, there's this cluster of chinkapin oak trees and there's caps everywhere but not many acorns. Which tells me they're being eaten up pretty fast. And check this out. deer was coming down this way which means if he comes from over this bench and I hunt the same tree I'll, I'll get a shot at him but if they come from up here and they just come down to these oaks I'll never get a shot from that tree I want to climb one in here all right so this spot looks good the only thing that worries me is the uh, understory. I got a couple good shooting lanes, a couple pockets, but there is a chance a deer can get right by me and I won't get a shot. But there's also a chance I got a good lane right in front of me. There's also a chance I get a perfect shot. And if anything comes in and stops to feed on these acorns, I'm sure I'll get a shot. I just heard something big jump in the water, it sounded just like a deer. I can see a little bit of the creek, but not really. I can't tell what it was. I just heard another huge splash down in the creek in the same spot. just heard another deer cross the creek. I haven't lost faith in this spot yet. All the deer that I've seen or heard crossing the creek down coming off that other drainage. So I may want to hunt down there next time, I'm not sure, but... Well, I pulled into this spot a little while ago just to take a quick power nap. I woke up and decided I was going to walk back here and check on some oaks that I know about. But I went back there and I was kind of surprised by the fresh sign I saw. And there's a big white oak tree back there that's dropping pretty good. And there's fresh deer crap, a fresh scrape. Five years ago, yesterday, October 14th, 2014, I came in here and found this spot and found the white oaks dropping and, and fresh deer sign and all that. And I hunted there that day. 
and I ended up shooting two does that evening. And that video is still to date got the most views out of any video on my channel. I don't know why, I guess YouTube just decided it needed to go viral or something. But uh, that's where I'm going tonight. And uh, the sign is there, that's why I'm going back. Now I have hunted it several times over the past few years since that one day and just haven't done any good. So you got to hit it when it's right, otherwise it's almost a waste of time. We'll sneak on up in there and I'll show you the sign I found and then I'm going to climb a tree and sit the rest of the afternoon. So here's the scrape I found. You can see where the ground is wet where it even peed right there. I'm looking branch. And right here. Well, I just heard a small sounding deer blow down there. I don't know if it was bedded or if they're already starting to come up into the acorns. I was just uh, putting on my tether and a deer down there blew and ran off. They're already on the move coming up to these acorns. Look how many acorns are still up there. They're raining down pretty good. Could have shot her, but I was waiting for her to look away to draw back because she kept looking at me. Didn't know what I was. They're just on the other side of the cedar tree. I think they're working away from me, but. Well, there's a little buck. I think it's a little buck, 15 yards or so. Came in right at dark. Hopefully, I can get back on them soon. I gotta work tomorrow, so we'll see how it goes. And I got muzzleloader hunt this weekend. Looking forward to that. So, I'll catch y'all back in the woods soon. <laughs>